In this tutorial, we'll look at a couple of different ways to evaluate your glazing schemes. Go ahead and modify your Revit model per the assignment. Then you want to open Sapphira, generate Sapphira views, verify in your 3D views that all of the elements are on the proper layers, then open the real-time analysis. In the real-time analysis, these dials at the top of the screen will be our primary metrics for this assignment. The same as before, we're going to look at energy use intensity. I'd like you to look at your heating and cooling loads specifically because they relate to the percentage of glazing in terms of the amount of solar heat gain. And then I'd like you to look at your spatial daylight autonomy. And in this case, we can see that it, the building is mostly underlit. So adding glass might be something that's good. You can also see here that it's a, a heating dominated building. More sunlight would be good, but we have to be careful not to have so much glass that we lose all of our heat through the glazing. I would also like you to look at your daylighting visualization. So go ahead and click on this button to open the visualization, which will look something like this. So the first menu or the first screen that comes up is your annual availability. And what this is, is the percentage of occupied hours. So in this case, we're looking at hours. In the SDA graph here, we're looking at the percentage of floor area. But this is the percentage of hours where the light level is at least 300 lux. So in this particular graph, we actually want to see colors more from cyan to green to yellow because we want a high percentage of, of daylight hours where we have at least 300 lux. You can actually change this slider to get a slightly different reading. The other thing you should look at is time of day. So if you click that, it'll update your visualization. Time of day will allow you to set a specific day of the year and time of the day. This is good if you want to troubleshoot or fine tune exactly where you want to put shading. You can, you can visualize the times when you're getting the most daylighting or the most glare. And notice here that this is a measurement of actual lux levels at that time. So in this particular graph, we probably want to see colors that are more in the blue, cyan, and green. Green probably being a little bit bright, blue being a little bit dull, but probably still sufficient. And then the last option you have for visualization is daylight factor. And if you remember, daylight factor is the percentage of outside light that makes it to the inside. So this kind of helps to even the playing field if you're evaluating cloudy overcast climates versus sunny climates. You can see how much of the available daylight are you getting inside. So again, here we probably want to see values more in the 3 to 4 and 4 to 5 range, and you can see that only about 5% of my floor area meet those ranges. So 85% of my building is underlit per the daylight factor. You should choose one of these three metrics to use to evaluate your three different options, and I'd like you to include the visualization and any conclusions that you can make from those visualizations about how you would improve your glazing or your shading scheme.